Elizabeth Luger, I want you to come up with me because I want you to talk with us for a little while. Oh, I love this woman so much. <laughs> Yes. 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 Now, Elizabeth and I, we are both Elizabeths and we both go by Beth. So we are nuts about each other. Well, I hope that's, I'm thinking that that's probably vice versa. Sit down and grab that microphone with me, Elizabeth. And I, I want to tell you, um, the church that is in the book is loosely based on Franklin Avenue Baptist Church. Really? Yes. And, okay. I will tell you a little bit of trivia here. I, I hope this makes you smile because one of the women, Karen, wrote in and said, mm -hmm. it really, really blessed me that you have women of color in it. Mm -hmm. And I just grinned. I was telling my good buddy, I, it, made, it just absolutely made my day because I said, you know, the, the thing is, m most of my friends, my entire community of faith, for the most part in New Orleans is women of color because this was the church where I got to serve. Well, they would just, they had me back and then I went back. And then I did, if you've done Breaking Free, I, um, you would have seen that sanctuary in those videos and that was all at the Looters Church. So just give us a little bit of backstory on some of the things that uh, relate to the book with you, Elizabeth. So you had talked about just sayings and things. I was amazed that each time, uh, um, I'm not very colorful when it comes to writing or um, jokes and things like that or whatever, but Beth, almost on every chapter, two to three different phrases. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you mentioned also about she would rather with her toe. She also oh, yes, mentioned she that in the toe. book. Yes. Um, but it was so many of those things until I went, wow. I mean, how did she do that? Mm -hmm. And so my question to Beth was, uh, is there a book out there? <laughs> <laughs> And I kept, and I made the statement because she's just firing them off one at a time. One and of, so them, one of them you mentioned, I think, was that he had tried too long to make friends with the sun and enemies of his organs. Yes. You know. Do you, got to, like, did you see that? Or, um, I'm still questioning what all of that means, however. <laughs> yes. you know that. We know that at this point he was not um, himself, right? Yes. And so um, he had had one too many, too many times. Yes. And so mm -hmm. I just thought, I just thought it was just so perfect um, because I know I could not have come up with one of them. And so for you to have, to me, it seemed like like a thousand in there with the 160,000 Maybe that's another words. book idea, thousand and one one-liners yeah. back yeah. there. Yeah, one-liners, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we, we, we might have some there. Yes. We yeah. could yeah. use okay. as a starter. So yeah. those kinds of things where I, I'm a visual thinker like many of you are, so I just try to think what does it look like to me, try mm -hmm. to think in colors mm -hmm. and try to describe it the best you can. But I will tell you one thing, because I had to test this out with you guys. I had about, oh, I'm going to bring up a, a bunch of mine named Evangeline just a little while but Evangeline how many were in that original little group of readers what eight of you Okay, I think that's about right because I wanted to test it on him because some of the sayings in it that come out of Adela, mm -hmm. Adela, I'm going to get into her in just a moment with you, <laughs> but some of her sayings come from my Arkansas heritage. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking to myself, is that going to translate? Because I don't know. I'm going to have to test it on my readers to see if that still feels like it could be New Orleans to them. And so it passed their test and I was so relieved. So it comes out mm -hmm. of that, a little bit of rural mm -hmm. uh, Arkansas, mm -hmm. the way my, mm -hmm. I was raised in a three generation uh, family. And to actually, this is very, very different from the novel. Um, actually, I was extremely close to my grandmother. So that was very, very mm -hmm. different uh, from uh, my reality in the book. But I tested those sayings on this group of people people. And this church, when I would get to go back and um, get to be with you guys, Elizabeth, and even today when uh, several of my sisters from Franklin were at the book signing, I just threw their arms open and, mm -hmm. and just received blonder than she pays to be. And I mean, it was just like, 
just to be loved like that and to be accepted like that was just absolutely huge for me. I just cannot tell you how much I love y'all.